The second uh, type of uh, valuation method that uh, we're going to go over is uh, multiples valuation. Uh, so uh, similar to the dividend discount model, it's, it's actually a pretty uh, quick and simple way to value the, the equity or the enterprise value of a company, depending on which multiple you use. And the difference with this one is this one is probably more accurate. It's, uh, it gives you a reasonable level of accuracy. Uh, and and the, the best example to compare to is uh, when you do a valuation of a, a home. If you're going to go sell your house, you have to value it. So, so how do you uh, come up with a value for the house? Uh, basically, what a real estate agent is going to do is they're going to compare similar homes in your area and try to get a range for yours. So let's suppose... You've got a 2,500 square foot home next door, and uh, it's uh, uh, it just recently sold, and it was valued at uh, one million dollars. Okay, so that essentially gives you a a peg in the ground as to what a rough valuation is uh, for homes on your street. And now, not all of them are going to be identical, but if it's on the same street, you're going to say your house, uh, 3,000 square foot, is going to be worth more than the million. Now, it's not going to be a straight linear formula of 3,000 divided by 2,500 times 1 million. It's going to be, there's a lot of subjective factors, but it gives you a rough range. It's not going to be 2 million or 5 million, and it's not going to be 100,000. Um, you know, a reasonable range would be somewhere between 1.1 to maybe 1.3 million. And I just sort of made those numbers up. It's not a, a, a an accurate science. But uh, uh, one, one of the value... Uh, uh, it, so what's a rough estimate? One of the values of this is that it's based on an actual transaction. So somebody actually did pay one million dollars for that uh, uh, twenty-five hundred square foot home. So your three thousand square foot home is probably going to be worth a little bit more. Gives you a rough uh, estimate, um, but it's not a completely made-up estimate. And it can be done uh, on any company uh, as long as you are able to compare it to other companies similar to you maybe other companies in the same industry or um, similar industries. And um, often it's used to value the share price of a company. Uh, the, there's various multiples that you can use, and they're going to be based on um, uh, a variety of income statement amounts or uh, uh, income statement uh, line items. So you could base it on a multiple of sales, you could base it on a multiple of EBIT, which is earnings before interest and tax, or you could base it on a multiple of uh, net income that your company earns. And the key is to find um, other companies that are similar to your company, and those tend to be those that are in the same industry. So once you have companies that are in the same industry, um, they're very similar uh, and it'll give you some comparable, like the home down the street. So it's not a totally unrelated uh, multiple. The most commonly used multiple is a price earnings multiple, which is based on net income. And this is uh, calculated by the price of the share. That is uh, a market price. So somebody's actually paid that price divided by the earnings per share. Okay, so um, earnings per share is also commonly quoted, very easy to get for public companies, uh, EPS, uh, can be found pretty much on any website. So if you take the share price divided by the earnings per share, that's going to give you the price earnings multiple. And that essentially, if you put it in uh, non-financial terms, is it's how many years of income are people willing to pay uh, to buy your company. So if you, for example, you earn a dollar per share as earnings per share for your company, and your shares are trading at uh, $10 a share, then that means you have a price earnings multiple of 10 times. Okay, so you take uh, 10 divided by 1, and that's your multiple. And essentially what it says is that people are willing to pay for 10 years worth of profits at the current level. And uh, um, that's that's what they're valuing your company at. So it's nothing scientific. That's just the, the demand for your company and the supply for the shares. Now, if uh, you compare that to other companies in your industry, um, it gives you an idea as to how shareholders are valuing your company compared to others. So what if you compare to another company uh, that's a competitor of yours and it is trading at 20 times earnings? 
uh, essentially what shareholders are saying is they value their earnings much higher than they value yours. So they're willing to pay more for it or they're implying more growth from that company. And similarly, what if uh, the competitor trades at five times? Then in this case, they're not valued as well as your company is. Uh, so they're willing to pay less for uh, for the share of that company. 